Hi, this is Dear Damson, and today we are going to do a super cool painting of a butterfly. It's one of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notifications for our future videos. And the first thing I did, obviously, is sketch the butterfly, which makes it super easy. And also, this one is available on my Facebook page. I think it's together with the video. Um, I will check that one out, and I will post everything in the descriptions below. And what I did first is pretty much give it a wash uh, with kind of a very, very pale um, orange. It almost looks like a brownish orange, but it's red and orange kind of mixed together and it's very pale. So um, the next part is I'm going to give few layers of this um, washes and little by little I am going to get um, more and more color on top of each other so it's going to be many layers of the butterfly so the butterfly's colors are orange yellow black and part of the wing is going to be yellowish brownish um, so the most important thing is kind of following the lines like you see right here this is my pencil line so I am following the line of the pencil and it looks kind of a scallopy and then with almost clean slightly wet brush I am softening all the edges so you're gonna see that process quite a few times and every time is a little bit slightly either smaller or just different um, in color so um, the other side of the butterfly we are kind of going to suggest it we're not going to really concentrate on that at all so um, i added a little bit of orange right here on the top and that just brightens everything up dramatically now i left everything that it's going to be white white obviously because otherwise we're going to have very difficult time doing this um, and now I am using a brown and ochre with maybe a little bit of black to do kind of a semi outline. So this process is going to happen quite a few times um, because the first few times it's going to be just starting with very pale colors. And like you see here, I'm softening everything and kind of bringing it in. And every time I do that, I always leave a little area to be present from the previous color. And going a little bit deeper with the color, I think right now I use just the brown color. And like I said, I will post all the colors I'm using and the materials in the description below. So this part looks um, like almost like a face or skull, but it's like an egg shape on the bottom wing of the butterfly. And the top it's two C's into each other so one is a red one is a black C um, the letter C and then we have those triangles on the top of the wing but we want to do like tiny little lines or kind of a ziggity zag going into that triangle to make it look like a triangle and also the body is gonna be again we're not concentrating on that we don't want people to be looking at the body of the butterfly or the other wing too much so we want to concentrate on the right side more than the middle and the left so we are kind of suggesting it there but we're not gonna put too much work into that so there you go so we're going to add another outline and every time we are going less and less transparent and we're adding more colors but we are going every single time softening the color or softening the edges of the color we applied slightly and bringing it in. So that's a little um, black triangle. And what I'm doing here is I'm not just filling in with one brush stroke. I'm trying to kind of create few little brush strokes to fill in the area because it makes it uh, more like a fuzzy look uh, because not all uh, little lifts and drops of the brush will be equal. 
So I'm using black and brown to give another outline. So I kind of lost count on how many outlines I gave that butterfly, but every single outline is either smaller or different color. And with the purple, I am going to add a shadow right underneath the top wing. And here I'm just lifting a little bit that red color with a clean wet brush on the bottom wing. And now I'm going to add the shadow. So I am doing a little bit of work on the outside because I need the inside to dry um, before I start adding the last pieces of the puzzle. And the shadow is most of the times two parts one is a very lighter version of the shadow and the other one is the same color but just slightly darker um, and kind of softening that edge so it creates a deeper shadow and less deeper shadow and since we're waiting why not just add a background and it's very light blue so we don't take away from the colors and the last part of this will be adding a <laughs> another line um, and now this one is a little bit more pronounced and we are trying to be a little bit more precise with the lines so we're not smudging anything we're not gonna take away anything this line will pretty much give us the rest of the butterfly and make everything kind of come together and again i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and I hope to see you again next week. And this little part here, I just decided to add another color. And that's just a little bit of ochre. And it's kind of like a U shape, but this is it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.